for race number five, number one, Poco Hoppin, owned by Tony Alanya, Harold Carter, and Orlin Brown. Tony Alanya trains, Dale Heitman drives. Two is Sporty Moran, owned by Bill Wright of Morton, by Don Coleman of Lebanon. Irvin Miller trains, Andy Miller gets the call. Three, Holly Hill Neutron, owned by Larry Binkley and Michelle Whitlock of Charleston. Larry Binkley, the trainer and driver. Four, Kentucky Bird, owned by Kevin Judy of Homer. David Avenetti trains and is in the bike. Five, my boy Blake. Owned by Brian Loman of Villa Grove, by Brian Kaiser of Champaign. Loman trains. Rick Schrock is up. Six is Kingston Command. Owned by Bo DeLong, Clinton, Wisconsin. Larry Spin, the trainer. Pat DeLong gets the call. Seven, Big Red Dog. Owned by Ron and Dolores Phillips of Petersburg. Mike Rogers, the trainer. Eric Ledford, the driver. Eight, Ty Rogers. Owned by Ed Keefe and Roger Wilson of Mount Sterling. Dr. Robert Lunt, the trainer. Dave McGee, behind Ty Rogers. And nine is Secret Ambition, owned by the Canamera Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware. Irvin Miller trains. Ryan Anderson drives Secret Ambition. Number three, Holly Hill Neutron, will be on the track in a moment. Had a paddock problem and right now makes his appearance with Larry Binkley at the gate in only three minutes. Three minutes. Here they come. They're often pacing between horses Holly Hill Neutron and Kentucky Bird out quick as is Big Red Dog. As that field thunders toward the lower turn and having the best of it is Holly Hill Neutron. He'll lead him by a length, a length and a half. Poco Hoppin gets away well. He's now covered second on the inside. Dropped in third as they swing around the turn is Sporty Moran. And backing up hunting cover, about to find it now, and he does fourth is Kentucky Bird. Dropped in fifth is Big Red Dog. Sixth is the uh, reach the quarter will be My Boy Blake. Behind My Boy Blake, racing seven now as they sweep past that mark. Onto the back stretch is Kingston Command. Eight is Ty Rogers. And at the back of the field, early, Secret Ambition, front panel 27-4, rolling down the back stretch and the leader down the backside as they approach the half mile mark. Still by a length and a half uh, down the back stretch is Binkley and Holly Hill Neutron. Holly Hill Neutron, who likes the front end, has it. He's on top, length and a half, stalking the leader second. It's Poco Hoppin, still third to the inside. It's Sporty Moran on the outside, underway now. As they reach that juncture comes Big Red Dog. He moves up fourth on the outside, the half 57 seconds. That's Big Red Dog, continuing to race past Pacers for Eric Ledford. He's now third, following him. As they race that way is my boy Blake. He's fifth. Racing six on the outside, following cover is Kingston Command. Seven dropping back, Kentucky Bird, he'll need to get out soon. Racing eight on the outside as they race toward the uh, three-quarter mile juncture is Secret Ambition. The trailer is Ty Rogers. They're at the three-quarter. Holly Hill Neutron maintains the advantage of a length and a half. Big Red Dog, doggedly on the outside, continues to move up. He's now second, 126-1 for three quarters. They turn for home, finding out five wide behind the leader. On the inside, Holly Hill Neutron. Here comes Big Red Dog. Middle of the racetrack. And also coming on far outside is Sporty Moran. Big Red Dog has the lead. Between horses, Poco Hoppin. Big Red Dog, Poco Hoppin. Poco Hoppin, Big Red Dog. Poco Hoppin, Kentucky Bird was with him. Poco Hoppin wins it. Big Red Dog, too. Kentucky Bird, big move, was third. Home fourth, unofficially, Holly Hill Neutron. It appeared to be my boy, Blake, picking up the final check with Kingston Command six. 155-2, 155-2. And on the board, one. that's the way it was. Poco Hoppin picks up the win in that uh, driving finish with Big Red Dog. Beautiful mile by him. Out well before the three-quarter. Dead game to the wire and second. And a late rush carried Kentucky Bird under the wire third. In just a moment. Dale Heitman, leading driver in Chicago. And one of the leading drivers in North America will guide Poco Hoppin into the winner's circle. Chicago Harness Racing, of course, takes its place with any venue in the sport. We're proud of the racing at Balmoral and at Maywood Park. 
uh, naturally with the purses offered there and the quality of horses there, it also attracts the great drivers in harness racing. The Chicago Drivers Colony is a great one. It's a group of young men who are well-based and who certainly represent our sport well. Dale Heitman's one of those young men. Dale came from Lebanon, Ohio, began his career there, and he has moved from the small tracks in Ohio to the top of the pinnacle in Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, Dale Heitman, Poco Hoppin. Is that a young Heitman in the bike? Another Heitman in the bike? That'd be about generation number four, I believe. Winning Pacer owned by Tony Alanya, by Harold Carter, and Daryl Brown. All in that ceremony. Trained by Tony. Incredible finale son of Poco Lady by Bean Ziggle. She was a great race mare, as you probably remember, if you followed Illinois Racing. Philly of the year here. And bred by Poco Acres. 